John and I met in college here in Eau Claire. Music students, jazz nerds. John gave me a call probably four or five years ago and just had, had an idea to work on a record together. And we thought, you know, it'd be pretty um, integral to do do it in Eau Claire if we could. Um, and got to use this amazing studio called Hive. And it's super unassuming. It's a small little red barn. And on the inside, it's like this whole other like sonic playground. It's chill, feels, it feels awesome. It feels very comfortable. You're surrounded by nature. There's always birds. There's deer that walk past. And it really like added to the whole like sound of the record, the style of it, the, the end result. It was May 2019 when we started. And yeah, we had like maybe five or six song ideas. Mm -hmm. And then there was like a lot of improvisation. We had some other folks come by. Jeremy Betcher playing bass. Jeremy Ilvesacker coming from Minneapolis playing guitar. Ben Lester pedal steel and synth, Chris Thompson, saxophones, clarinets. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I remember, I mean, it was, it was a joyous week for me. Like I've never had a, a situation like that according. It's mm -hmm. always been like one day, two yeah. days. This was like, we can just like live here for a second and really get inside of the music in a different way. And also, you know, coming from the jazz world where like most things are tracked all together at the same time, like we certainly did that, but the, the freedom to use the studio in the ways that we used it to add other layers and, you know, let's, let's try this and see if this works. It just started to shape the sound like little by little, I feel like, you know. Yep, absolutely. Some of the some of the songs definitely came out of that first session where we were still exploring a lot. And then the second session um, where we brought on um, Sun to produce and he, you and him really brought some other musicians into the fold. Aaron Parks on piano, Chris Morrissey on bass, Dave Devine on guitar. And then like, then the band took on a different shape too. and. The picture was clearer and we were just sort of like trying to achieve achieve that with this with this new band. Yeah, I guess I met Sun Chung weirdly enough through Facebook, actually. The power sure. of social media. Sure. <laughs> I did a tour over there in Germany and we met and talked, but then when we were doing the initial round of recording for this stuff I sent him some of that music and he was super into it and yeah I mean it was such a trip working with him too like he's such an incredible producer big ears really refined yeah palette very discerning mm -hmm. very um yeah I never worked with someone like that I th him and Brian working together was was a pretty like dynamic situation because both of them are so amazing at what they do that it just brought the level like way up mm -hmm. I feel like you know when we got here and we started working on music and it really felt special and to to kind of bring musicians from all over the country and even sun from Europe and like to get together and and make music, it just, it really, really felt like important and special. I think the music is a great representation of our world and the different aesthetics that we kind of came from, come from, 
but also sort of this common ground where we found a way to speak the same language in the music. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's hard to describe. Like when you've been telling people about the record, it's like, it's hard to describe besides just saying like, it's kind of what we, <laughs> we put our minds together and that's the best description. John is sucking these.